Hi, I'm Amos Kevin Annan, and uh, it's a delight to be coming your way. Welcome to 2021. I wish you all the best in this year as we discuss these issues on Effective Living Series. I have six recommendations I want to suggest to you humbly that you consider moving forward. We all know that the COVID has been quite an experience for a lot of us, and we are not out of the woods yet. Yes, of course, efforts have been made to ensure that uh, we mitigate all the stresses and the conditions of health that will come under siege. But let's, let's brave ourselves and brace ourselves for life because life is very, very important and it offers us a lot of things in store. I have six things I am going to just bounce off to you. The first one is this, that you've got to come to a point where you face the changes. In this life, things are not static. Things will change. And COVID has taught us that things will change. And the things that have changed, you need to identify those things and begin to realign. And that takes me to the second point, and that is formulate a new strategy. What new strategies can you put together as an individual, as a spouse, for instance, or as one who is dating or in a relationship that you're courting, prospecting for the future, which is one of the things I like to talk about. Uh, as a parent, what new strategies must you formulate? Um, as a citizen of this nation, I mean, what new strategies can you come up with in terms of your citizenship roles that you must play? Now, as a worker, as a professional, as a practitioner in a certain field, what new strategies must you formulate? And that takes me to the third one, formulate new alliances and friendships. You see, we've gotten to a point where we're doing a lot of stuff online. You now must not just do social media for just social uh, connections sake. You must also look at how you leverage on that space that has offered you. Now, what has been offered us is a profound capacity to reach millions at the click of a button, at, at just the typing of some text. And so it's important that you begin to look at who is within your space to be an enabler of the next phase. The fourth one is find help from the right sources. There's so much available. I mean, I was just discussing the issue of infodemic. I mean, information is rife everywhere. Some of it very good, some of it not too good. Uh, some of it actually inimical to your health and, and to your well-being as an individual. It's therefore important that you have a list of individuals you can easily go to or a list of places you can easily visit to be able to uh, declutter your mind and be able to get your, your sanity and your soundness intact. The fifth one is fight off despair and distractions. You know, we are doing a lot of things online and the potential to be distracted is huge. I want to encourage you to fight off that. You must master the courage, the strength, the fortitude, and everything you can commandeer in your life to be able to fight off the despair and the destruction. And finally, what about your mindset? You must fuel your mindset right, because your mindset would influence the various manners uh, that you put in place and that you practice. And so. I wish you all the best in this year. I believe that the thoughts I've shared with you on this Effective Living series will have helped you one way or the other to reflect and to rethink and to reposition yourself. Yes, your family will be in your space, they'll be in your face, and they'll be on your case, but you'll be able to conquer all that. I wish you all the best in 2021. Goodbye. I'm Amos Kevin Annan.